Hey guys, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and welcome to another episode of Website Wednesdays. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make Google Analytics a whole lot easier to look at because Google Analytics is only helpful if you're actually looking at it. Okay, so before we get started in this video tutorial, um, just make sure that you are already signed up for a free Google Analytics account. I've linked to a super easy tutorial on how to get all of that set up um, down in the description box. And then after you've done that, you can come back to this tutorial and it'll kind of make a little bit more sense. Okay, and to get started, just go to my website, go to mariahmagazine.com slash Google Analytics dashboard. Um, that link will be right below in the description. And you'll be taken to the blog post where you can go ahead and download the custom Google Analytics dashboard. So go get to this post and then click this button right here. And once you click the button, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google Analytics account. So go ahead and do that. And then it's going to pop up with an option to go ahead and set up this custom dashboard. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and select your Google Analytics account in this option here. And then um, this is the name that I gave it. You can go ahead and change that if you want to. And then click Create. And it's automatically going to populate all of these widgets for you. So at a quick glance, you can um, Go ahead and change the date that you wanna view your analytics from and apply it. Let's say you wanted to look, I don't know, starting in September. Um, so you can take a look at um, how many unique visitors you have, how people are finding your website, the social networks that are sending the most amount of traffic. And then you have your unique visitors, which refers to the number of people that visit your website during a given period. Um, and then you see your SEO unique visitors and then your social media unique visitors. And then it also links up like your top keywords that don't have your brand name in there. So one thing that you wanna do is click this edit button here and then change this to whatever your business name is. And then go ahead and click save so that all the results in here, you're not getting branded keywords so like it's not showing up like Mariah Magazine because obviously when people type in the keyword Mariah Magazine, I'm probably going to come up in search engine results. So I don't really care to see that. I would rather see the other keywords that I'm showing up in results for. So then you can see your top viewed pages and this includes your blog posts. And then you can see how many users have been on there. Um, these referral websites, these exclude most of the social media networks because you get that information up here. Um, and, but these referral websites are really good to keep track of to see if other bloggers or business owners are sending traffic your way. So as you can see, this guest post that I wrote for wonderfell.com, um, 14 users have visited my website from that post. So if you scroll down, you can also see where people are exiting your website. So what's the last page that they visit before they leave? So some of mine are um, blog posts, and then you see that I have a 404 page that I have to take care of. Um, you can see how many people have exited. And then this is a really good way to go ahead and look at those blog posts and see if there's other strategies that you can implement to help keep your website visitors on your site longer. So that's just a quick overview of this simple dashboard. And like, let's say that you, I don't know, that you hated this dashboard, you can just go ahead and click delete up here and then click this delete button right there and it'll automatically delete the dashboard. You can have more than one dashboard in your Google Analytics account. So if you, let's say that you um, went to my blog post and downloaded a few more, all of them will show up right in here and then you can just click on the one that you want to look at. You can export this information into a PDF. Um, you can share this 
dashboard template, which is the link that I gave you in order to download this onto your own Google Analytics account. You can add a widget. You know, if you're really feeling, if you're really feeling feisty with all of this, um, it'll let you choose like a map, a table, a pie, a bar, and then you can go ahead and go through all of these metrics, um, add filters and whatever, and then click save. And it'll add like a new box like this. And then you can also segment it a little bit. So you can click on all users right here. And then you could, let's say, just take a look at maybe people that are bouncing from your website and click apply so that you can see the difference between all of your users and then your bounced users. So that's really good if you want to do um, compare and contrast them. And then if you didn't want that, you can go ahead and remove it and then you're automatically taken back to the regular view that we downloaded. And that's about it. So your new Google Analytics dashboard is so much easier to look at now. It's got like those uh, colorful graphs and like pie charts and it's got all of your little information like organized so nicely so now when you log in you can just either take like a quick glance at you know the things that you got going on or if something you know pops out to you you don't have to sit there and like sift through everything which is totally overwhelming um, but if you're looking for the link to download that free dashboard that we just installed in this video it's right below in the description so just go ahead and click that and in that blog post you'll also notice that I included a list of a few more dashboards just in case you want to get a little crazy with it. Um, there's some for like SEO and there's some for like social media and things like that. So it kind of all depends on what information you're looking to get. So the custom dashboards that I found kind of help you create dashboards for that goal that you want. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, just go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. And if you have something that you'd like to see me cover in a website Wednesday, just go ahead and comment the idea below and let me know because I'm always looking for suggestions to kind of help you guys um, figure out your website a little bit more and navigate the internet a little bit easier. So just let me know.